This might be the most exciting time in recent memory for us to discuss everything. I, I, I mean everything. The Diddy case is blowing up. Do you hear me? The Diddy case. Diddy. The Diddy case. P. Diddy. The case that people say, like, ah, I don't really care about. It's enormous. The Baltimore Key Bridge, that also was being looked at. Who these pilots were? Who were these folks? What is going on? Assange? Assange, believe it or not, is the least of the issues. The least of the issues. It's fascinating. And where you get the information, where you get the information is from alternative media, not anything on TV. I have seen stuff put together between Diddy Usher, uh, uh, Justin Bieber. I had... No idea how demented this person was. No earthly idea how demented this person was. What was going on hiding in plain sight? Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for this. Oh my God, get out the tin. Not the tin foil, it's aluminum foil. We haven't used tin in years. This is the stuff that you've been waiting for. It just gets better and better and better and better. And the more, I mean, it's beautiful. Let's sit back. Make sure, dear, dear friend, that you are subscribed. Make sure, please, that you are, uh, that you like these videos. The liking is critical. I know you hear it all the time. I don't blame you for being tired, but it's true. Please like the video. Please make sure also, this is very important that you hit that little bell so you're notified of live streams and new videos and the like. Because we may just go live in the middle of the day. We may just, uh, we're going we're gonna to be doing that more and more and more. Get ready for this. Get ready. So please, dear friend, as I ask right now, for you to, of course, listen to first, our first, our sponsor. What are they talking about? Food, food, food. Are you, are you? Are you listening? Are you listening to what's happening? Are you are you listening? This is not just some crazy prepper talk. This is serious. This is preparewithlionel.com. Listen. Let's talk about a very serious subject, emergency food. That's right, emergency food. Now I know at first blush it's difficult for most people to think about something that they just just take for granted ever reaching, you know, emergency status. We used to stores always being open, deliveries always made, no supply chain disasters, no no ransomware catastrophes, you know, shutting down gas stations, no trucking strikes, no war, no protests from farmers, no mysterious Chinese weather balloons, nothing, nothing catastrophic in terms of weather. Well, that can't happen to us, right? And I understand it's a defense mechanism that we have because the idea of ever not being able to eat or locate food is seemingly incomprehensible to most people. But think about this. It's not. That's why it's time for you to go to my site, preparewithlionel.com. Preparewithlionel.com has the deal of deals for you. Take it as a, as a starter set, an introduction set. You've been putting off emergency food for too long. Some people still have a thing about prepping as though prepping for emergency is foolish. Now, right now, you can save $200 on a three-month emergency supply kit. This is unbelievable. 22 varieties with a 25-year shelf life, 25 years, 2,000 calories a day in six rugged buckets, 120 pounds of food. Could you go three months, 90 days if stores closed? Be honest. Could you go a week without any trips to the store? I don't think so. I'm not talking about having stuff in your cabinet. I'm not talking about banana chips and jerky. I'm talking about food, real food. So go right now to preparewithlionel.com. This moment right now, preparewithlionel.com, preparewithlionel.com. Go now and thank me later. You know, for the longest time, dear friends, we have been saying that 
Hollywood and the demented world of Hollywood has done nothing but encourage and promote kind of as the farm team for every kind of despicable lunatic there is. And more importantly, what I think is more important, more more critical than anything else, is the idea that we have known this. And they said we were crazy for the longest time. Oh, yeah, they said we're crazy. They said, here you go again. And we're saying, no, no, we're not crazy. Oh, yes, you are. You are, you, you are, you are crazy. Um, I'm going to explain something to you. I'm going to tell you something which is the most important. And uh, let me see if we can explain this. Because I, I, I have, I've been just saturated in, in this today. I want you to be able to separate a couple of things. First, separate this idea, this notion that you have, that because people enjoy or involve themselves in demented sexual activity, that it's necessarily illegal. Let me say that again. Just because people involve themselves in demented sexual activity, where casting couches theoretically are are made, or 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 music people exert undue influence and the like. What is critical to note, and critical for us to to grasp, is something very very simple. And I want you to understand this. I don't care what people do in terms of their own world. I don't care if Oprah exerts undue influence or whether Tyler Perry is, uh, you know, promises something or whether Monique didn't get the deal because of something that Oprah had said because she wanted. That's not illegal. That might be unethical. That might be a lot of things, but it is not illegal. Okay. It's a different story altogether. What we are looking at here is something a little bit more interesting. We're looking at something which is different. There's a, there's a statute that deals with the notion. This is, this is uh, 18 U.S.C. 1591, sex trafficking of children or by force, fraud, or coercion. This is really the statute. Let me read this to you. Whoever knowingly in or affecting interstate or foreign commerce or within the special maritime or territorial jurisdiction of the United States recruits, entices, harbors, transports, provides, obtains, advertises, maintains, patronizes, or solicits by any means a person or benefits financially or by receiving anything of value from participation in a venture which has engaged in an act described in violation of paragraph one. Knowing or except where the act constitution in reckless that means of force, threats of force, fraud, coercion, described by any combination of such uh, to cause the person to engage in a commercial sex act or that the person has not attained the age of 18 and will be caused. This is a really bad statute. Um, this might help. The punishment for an offense under subsection A is if the offense was affected by means of force, threats of force, fraud, or coercion, or if the person recruited, enticed, harbored, transported, Provided, obtained, uh, has not re uh, reached the age of 14. It goes uh, into this federal statute. This is really, you got to read this. 18 U.S.C. 1591. It is a brute. But basically, force, 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 uh, threat or coercion. Force, fraud or coercion. This is the thing. Um, 
recruits, entices, harbors, transports, provides, obtains, advertises, maintains, patronizes, or solicits. Now, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. You may say, you you may, now remember, and I'm going to say this again, repeat this to you. Sean Diddy Combs has not been charged with anything. Anything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He has been charged with nothing. There's the lawsuits pending. Lawsuits galore. And it's going to be even more so. And he's extricating himself from business deals. I mean, he's paying the price. But he has not been charged with anything yet. Now, you can guess this. You can imagine why. You can do a lot of things. You can say, for example, as Candace Owens said, well, they're going in to get the to get this material, to remove it, to set them up or something like that. Okay. Could be. Do you know this? I don't know. Sounds good. We don't know anything. We can just guess. We're standing outside the theater. We're standing, we're standing outside the stadium and we're listening to the noise. And we're listening to the noise and we're listening to the crowd and we're trying to guess the score. So what we're doing is we're guessing. We think we know and we've got to make sure that our fecund and fertile imagination don't run away and get the better of us. We've got to make sure that we have to think about what's really going on. I can guess what's going on. I can see what's going on. I can feel it. But I'm not really sure. I can I, I know some things, but not sure about others. Number one, the swirl is starting. This is the most important. The the vortex, the the miasma, the whirlpool, the this, it's starting. The tsunami, it's building up. It's building up. We can guess why didn't they grab him? I don't know. Why didn't they arrest him? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can guess. And my guess is it was deliberate. It was deliberate in the idea. And first of all, there, there had to have been something somewhere. Was there a grand jury impaneled? Were they investigating him? Why now? Now, one thing I want you to understand, please do yourself a favor. Disabuse yourself of this idea. Disabuse yourself of this thing that says, they're, 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 they're distracting you. Uh, this is to, just like they did with Epstein or... They're doing this so that he takes the fall and that everybody else walks away. No, no. I mean, that could be, but you don't understand. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where they, they distract anybody. There's this love that people have of, oh, no, that's a distraction. They're, they're having, a, no, it's not. They don't care whether you're distracted. To distract. To distract, there's a there's an old joke. Remember the scene from when Harry met Sally. Remember the famous scene in Cats's Deli where Meg Ryan is simulating or an orgasm to prove to Billy Crystal's character that a woman can fake orgasms. Remember, remember that? Okay. And there's an old joke. Why do women fake orgasms? Because they think men care. You think people care about distractions. You think they care whether they pull something off. You think they care whether you bought the Epstein thing. You think they care. And they don't. They couldn't care less or at all. They're not interested in whether you have been duped or distracted or your attention diverted. They could not care less. 
So let's let's just get rid of that. It's kind of like a reflex sometimes people have. It's this reflex. Well, it's a distract. It's the road to come. No, not really. Because first of all, whether you whether you are distracted or not, it doesn't matter. That's number one. Number two, you're going to be investigating what 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 is happening right now is look at the thing about Chris Brown, Usher, some little girl, whether he adopted people, whether I mean who, who and Justin Bieber. Oh my god, this guy is I mean wow. Justin Bieber. If Justin Bieber just starts yapping away, because there's no statute of limitations on this thing, Justin Bieber could sit there and say, let me tell you about my story. Don't forget Justin Bieber and his wife Haley and this and that. And I mean, there's all this stuff. And our good friend Stephen Baldwin, and he's in, he's the, I mean, this, 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 I, who knows? Justin Bieber can really start, if he wants to really start opening this up. Now, remember, if the feds don't care about this, it doesn't matter. They can distract all you want. If the DOJ doesn't do anything, if these cases kind of get settled and go away, if somebody says to those folks suing uh, Diddy, I call him Diddy, by the way. But if they decide that He's going to go, you know, elsewhere. Or, or if, if 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 they decide that the 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 kiss of death, they could just put an end to him. I mean, if you thought what they're doing to Trump, by the way, who now is what a six billion dollar, he just he makes more money now for the first, anyway. And congratulations, he couldn't happen to a better guy, and I mean that. But this is going to unravel. Diddy is dead. Let me just explain something to you. He's just dead. He's dead in the water. He's radioactive. They may not charge him with any criminal case whatsoever. Okay? You got that? You got that? Nothing. But here's the deal. What happens once they grind him into pulp? Pulp. Into pumice. What happens? Don't know. After Cat Williams, did anything happen with that? Don't know. After Cat Williams, did anything happen? Don't know. That's the most important thing. That's the most important thing available. Okay? That is, that is the most critical thing. Nothing happened. It was great. It was Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay. It was terrific. And Cat Williams was talking about the Illuminati and this and that. And it was great. Right? Yeah. Well, what happened? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, nothing really. It was interesting. Monique came along with Club Shay. That was good. Nothing happened. I mean, nothing really was alleged. I mean, there's criminal. I mean, this is a different story. Oprah's still there. Tyler Perry's still there. Steve Harvey's still there. Uh, every, I mean, they're all they're they're, they're every, uh, the usual suspects are just everything kind of bouncing along. But this one's a little different. Something's happening. There is a very critical juncture right now. This with the movie Quiet on Set. Why that didn't go anywhere, I have no idea. Now you and I can talk about, this. and by the way, the alternative stuff, the the compilations that I've seen today, are absolutely incredible. You you would want to indict Diddy for being just creepy, but we're not sure whether what he's done is against whether there's been actual traffic so far. I I, I we don't know. Is there a grand jury? Are they going to drop that on him? We don't know. Is he going to be squealing? See, one of the things that people talk about all the time is when they think that 
Sean is D Diddy. I call him Diddy. That Diddy's going to unload. He's going to unleash. He's going to open up the the you know the 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 the, the taps, and he's going to he's going to just rat everybody out. Rat who out? What? He's the top dog. What do you want? Who's he going to go after? Who? Who? What does he know? Now, do you think he's going to go after what? Oprah? Or not that there's anything to go after, but who? Who could he? What is he going to do? They don't want him. What is he going to do? Turn somebody up. Oh, no, no. I'm a, I'm a bad guy. But this guy's even worse. Are you sure about that? And do you need him? You don't need him. Listen. Remember one thing about Hollywood, especially everybody knows all the dirt. Everybody knows it. Everybody's been talking about this since forever. Listen to what uh, Fiddy, I get Diddy and Fiddy, these names, right? Whatever happened to Irving? Anywho. Oh, Usher's going crazy. Chris Brown. I mean, this this is coming. Justin Bieber. You, you've got to see this. Look at that video I sent you. It's unbelievable. Now, but here's the story. And I want you to listen carefully. Is it against the law? Somebody writes Clyde Davis. I mean, Clive. Interesting. Interesting. Is it against the law? What exactly did he do? What? Now, another thing, too, they're doing, which is a very interesting... Remember, statutes of limitation do not apply in the case of capital offenses or certain, certain cases. Next, there is a move to open statutes of limitation, to extend them to toll statutes, to, ha to handle behavior that happened years back regarding sexual activity. There is a very serious problem with this. Yes, it may make sense. Yes, it, it's nobody ever questions that with murder because you've got a dead body and there's never, there should be never a statute of limitation on murder. But in some of these situations, look at, look at, look at Eric Adams. They're saying like 30 years ago, something happened. What happened 30? What are you talking about? Now there's one thing, remember, if somebody can say, listen to me, if you can say, yeah, 30 years ago, I remember had to go to the emergency room. He needed emergency surgery, plastic surgery. He was sutured. He was with it. Yes, there was. Yes, that's one thing. Because why? It's a matter of proof. Because whenever you bring something like this, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to say, it never happened. Prove it. What are you going to do? If you're E. Jean Carroll, remember E. Jean Carroll, she, th this, is, this is incredible. She claimed in the, it wasn't the R word against President Trump. It was sexual abuse. And it dealt with digital penetration. Please, I'm sorry. I know there's, I hope there's no kids listening, but it was about digital, right? How did that happen? Jury believed it. How? Because she told them. And they believed it. And they hated Trump. Because he acted like a complete asshole. But that's the way he is. He doesn't understand that, Matt, you know, whatever. But I'm sorry. That one was, let me say this again. E. Jean Carroll said that he did this, and the story is, of, we're not going to relitigate that. Bergdorf Goodman inside the dressing room with people. He did, I mean, this, they said, yep, sounds good to us. And then they took that $5 million with a verdict and turned it into 80-something because he he blasphemed her. He, so this is this is something which is important. Now, do you think that Justin Bieber is going to start opening things up? No. Because you got to ask yourself this question. What about your image? What about your image? What does Justin Bieber do now? Does he do anything? Does he, no, he just hangs around. He's covered in tattoos. He's with that Haley with Bieber and pays everybody off. Huh? He very well could be paid just to keep his mouth shut for a long time, but but that you know what I'm saying. So so do you find this out? Does the public have an interest for it? Do you think that this Department of Justice has an interest? They went after this so far. They're going after Diddy. So we got to ask that. Why is that? And what are they going to find? And if you want to go in, and if you want to go in there and grab stuff, 
Do you have to go in by say, I mean, if you want to go in seriously, if you want to go in, there's no way, what are you going to do? Go through this and say, take all this information, take all this stuff so we can get all of the stuff that we want. Hey, hey, uh, Diddy, listen, we want not everything you've got. We want some things you have. Why? I'd rather not you. Well, what do you want? We want this. What is this about? Blackmail. It's about blackmail. I'm sorry to say this, and I'm forgive me for saying it, it's not about kids being injured. It's not about the harm that happened to kids, which is disgusting. It's about what information can I get against you? Now, there is a very, um, I was reading this one feller who was really, he has a fantastic, oh, how about Trump? Look at this with the, with the gag order, please. My God. There is a fellow and his name is just one. Ah, yes. Dom Luker. Have you seen this? He's very interesting. He's got some great stuff. Dom Luker, Luker, Lucra, money, lucrative, Luker, breaker of narratives. Excellent. And he's got stuff like you can't believe. I saw a video, a compilation before, which is just holy. And I'm not the only one. It's all there. And this is the stuff that's available. And nobody. But nobody, but nobody on CNN or whatever, they're not going to get into this stuff. This isn't even, this isn't even a conspiracy theory. It's not even that. They just don't do this. Why? Because they don't want you to get into the habit of looking at entertainment. They don't want you. They just want to shut this down because there's a lot of people who are still hanging around from the Harvey. How did Harvey, let me tell you something, Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein may be a dirt bag and that sort of thing, and I understand that, but Harvey Weinstein was so, what they did to him was unbelievable because of the fact that they were using similar fact evidence, similar fact evidence, and that's the worst. Or they were saying, well, we can't get him on this case, but we have another woman who remembers that he did something which we're not charging, but we're going to bring that up. I hate that. I don't care who you are. Uh, uh, Dung is fun said the boat that ran into that bridge, there is a conspiracy, but not what you think. Those containers were light, something else being shipped. We do not know. Somebody said that, but thank you. They had pictures of the, the licenses, did you see somebody, the, the drivers were Ukrainian? I don't know. We, we, will, we will see that one. Pete Booty Giggity Giggity actually tweeted, well, his office did. You think he'd get his ass over there? No, no, he's busy. That remains to be seen. Let's see what happens. But by the way, do you think that they could have used in Baltimore a lot of the money that we've been sending to Ukraine and Israel and all these other countries and military bases around the world. Do you think maybe our own infrastructure could have perhaps done something to, I don't know, have bumpers or something? Like that? Yes. Yes. Infrastructure or infa is I N F R like Fred, Frank, Frampton infra structure. You got that? Now, let me go back to this one here. So let's start off with this. Look, look at the big picture. I know it's interesting to say there's a distraction. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no distraction, but they don't care about it. Number two, one of the most important demographics today, of course, is that which is controlled by uh, entertainment. Entertainment is critical. Black entertainment represents, again, black uh, population, 14% of the population, huge voting block, huge, with very critical people. At the very top, Oprah. Why is Oprah so important? Why? What did she do? You can say what you want about, about Diddy. I call him Diddy. He was doing vodkas. He was Shonda, doing clothing, doing music, doing this. He was an entrepreneur for a long time. He's doing great. What did Oprah put out? What? 
What does she do? Her her shows, O Magazine, where they would Photoshop her weight. They've been Photoshopping her ass forever. Forever. Remember that one? So what did she do? Why is she a billionaire? I don't know. Tyler Perry, another huge from Medea. Okay. These people have more money than Spielberg. How is that? We don't know. I don't know. Do you think they really enjoy all that money? I don't know. Do they really have that money? I don't know. They say they do. I guess they do. Where did Epstein get his money from? Did he have all that money? Was he really? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows where he got the money from. We don't know anything. But the question is, is what they're doing really against the law? Doug says, there's a docket for every container in weight. If it's light, the buoyancy of the ship will change. That's why. Well, you know what? That's an excellent point. Please pursue this young man or young lady or, or they. I think this is fascinating. We will, believe me, if you wanted to find out where the information was, if you said, I'm not buying this story for whatever reason, where would you go? Do you hear the story about the man who heard the explosion? The explosion might have been the actual collision itself, but where would you go? If you want to find out about what's really going on, where do you go? Let me ask you a question. Where, where do you go? Do you go to NBC? Do you go to CNN? If you want to find out what's really going on here, where do you go? Where? Who are the people you go to? If you want to find out the really good stuff, what, what platforms? Where do you go? Look at this. Infowars. To the Masonic Lodge. Reddit. Very interesting. Redditors. Gateway Pundit. Um, Lionel Nation. There we go. I'm, I, I tend to be more, I don't want to say Breitbart. No way. No way. Thank you, X Zarter. X Zarter. Thank you for that. Uh, OAN. No. No. Sticks is terrific. Absolutely. Mark Dice. You see, see that? You see this? Doesn't that tell you everything? Doesn't that tell you everything? Now, here's what I want. I want as much data as possible. Let me, oh, the Aussies are great. Give me as much data as possible. That's all I want. Raw data. I'll, I'll call it. I'll distill it. I'll put it through the ringer. I will. Let just, just give me this. Give me this data. Bring it all in. Show me the video. Show me this. Give me all the information and I'll decide to say, okay, I think we've got something here. But ask yourself this question. If it's uh, force, fraud, or coercion, sex trafficking, where is it? Is it really there? May not be there. It might be rudeness. It might be boorish. It might be influence peddling. It might be, or it might be in the case, in the case of, um, of R. Kelly, They definitely got him. Also remember, their arrogance is what lets them go. They're told how great they are. They feel bulletproof. And here's a story too. Where is the passion for this? Let me go back and tell you again. And I've been saying this, if you know me, for the longest time. The only question I ever had, the only question I ever had about Epstein is who has the materials, the recordings, the hard drives, the videos, after decades of this. Who has them? That's it. Not all of these girls were trafficked. I would venture to say, I would venture to say, seriously, if you have, now remember, just because, if they are underage, that does not necessarily mean they're trafficked. It's not good. Once they become sold, Merchandise, Lord. Then we get into trafficking. Trafficking, huh? Right, right. Trafficking does not mean necessarily moving anybody. Remember this. Traffic. You think of traffic in a car. It's not necessarily traffic. Means 
when you deal with something illegally. You can traffic in stolen goods. You can traffic in drugs. You can traffic. Some of those girls from uh, from Epstein came to him solicited by other girls themselves. They weren't moved. They weren't. They were there. If, however, they're used as part of a, some kind of commerce or organization, that's a different story. I think it's very easy to be made. Very easy in terms of the statute. I think there was one case. I think they threw, they gave one count of against uh, Ghislaine Max, Maxwell or Ghislaine as they call her. Why just her? Okay. This is, this is something, and this went on forever. Why did it go on so long? Why did they finally, why did they decide to kill Epstein? Oh, I, I don't want to go through this again, but why did they decide to kill him in front of everybody in, in a federal lockup and not just, just have him disappear? He just doesn't show up anymore. Nobody knew who he was. Nobody knew his name. He could have just gone away. That's it. It would have scared the bad guys anyway. You don't have to, you don't have to do this. I never understood this. Why didn't they just say, well, he's presumed missing. Oh, his body, it showed up on a big, he drowned. He was kayaking on one of his islands. And, oh, well, financier Jeffrey Epstein is dead. What? Everybody who's involved would say, oh, no. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Anyway, next. Things in your bathroom that can kill you. And they just move along the next news story. Nobody would have noticed anything. They didn't have to kill him. Why? They wanted to do it in front of you, in front of the world, deliberately. Remember the guy he was, remember his, uh, his, uh, his, his roommate, his cellmate, Tartagliano, remember him? Remember that guy who killed the cops? I don't want to go through that again. Listen, what I'm saying is you're going to run, always run into a question that doesn't make any sense. And when you don't know the answer to it, don't make up a reason. Just say, well, we got to get to that one. Because I don't know if these people really know what you're doing. I don't know if they think these through. I have no idea. But if you look at, I want to go back to some of the story that, by the way, this guy, Dom Lukers, terrific. What about the Epstein Island? Oh, yeah. Oh, Jay. Well, Jay, well, all this is alleged. We'll see what happens. Well, we'll see what happens. We will get to the bottom of it. Uh, but I know that Usher, Ophidi, by the way, listen to this. The recent revelations involve allegations of sex assault and trafficking. Suddenly, what 50 Cent said about Diddy doesn't seem so crazy anymore. This is from Red Pill USA. Did you see this one? Very good stuff. Oh, this is great. You're not going to hear this. This is a quote. He says things he doesn't even know. What he's saying is like fruity, he says. People say that to me. I get a little uncomfortable. I get uncomfortable. Like he said, he said something to me one time, a long time ago, about Chris Lighty's wedding. He told me he wanted to take me shopping. And okay, well, that's not against the law, right? But all of this is coming up. Look at this one. New York City Mayor Eric Adams gives Sean Diddy Combs key to the city in September 2023. Adam's aid and fundraiser were also raided by the FBI recently, like Diddy was. Are you paying attention yet? Isn't that something? Isn't that something? See, let me explain something to you. This crowdsource stuff is so fascinating. Fascinating. This is, this is incredible. Look at this. FBI Chief Ted Gunderson made this statement. The reason the congressmen and the senators vote for these stupid bills is because they've been, many of them, have been set up and framed through drugs and sex. Everything that we know, everything that makes sense, everything. Look at this one, Gene Deal. It's coming up, but what we know as being civil wrongs do not necessarily convert into criminal. So what we are seeing is this pustule, this sebaceous cyst that has come to a head and it just takes one more little bit of pressure for it to blow Vesuvius and then it all happens. But here is the thing. Listen to me. 
It is not going to be enough for you or me or Dom Luke or whoever it is or TMZ or anybody to do anything with this if the federal government decides they're not interested. If the federal government is not interested and looks the other way, so what? Do you hear what I'm saying? If the federal government, if the federal government is not interested, if it doesn't, if it just, if everybody's paid off and Fiddy just goes away, or not Fiddy, uh, Diddy, Diddy, Fiddy, Duty, Fiddy, this is his name. Anyway, if they just, if he just goes away and, and, and his cases are settled and his, his deals, are, it just, it just, believe me, we have the attention span of a gnat. Stand by for a second, dear friends. We're going to be talking about this thing very carefully. And remember, Mr. Combs has not been charged with anything. I can't say that enough. He has not been charged with anything. And you know the bit about the presumed innocent and presumption of innocence, but still, he hasn't been charged. Eric Adams hasn't been charged. Others haven't been charged. But stay tuned. Now, Did somebody say pillows? Well, it's time yet again to hail and salute our great friends at MyPillow.com. And if you use promo code Lionel, you get a free gift. No purchase necessary. I know, I know, a free gift. Gifts are free. Okay, it's a tautology, so sue me. But listen to me and listen carefully. What are we talking about here? Down comforters, flannel sheets, Giza Dream bed sheets, MyPillow 2.0 body pillows, waffle blankets, couch and recliner pillows, sheets, slippers, percales, I'm not even done yet, towels, quilts, bedspreads, mattresses, mattress covers, mattress toppers, linens, kitchen towels, bathrobes, pet blankets, pet blankets, bolster pillows, name it, items to help you luxuriate and relax. And they're monster sellers, slippers, my slippers, slip-ons, moccasins, think about it. What do they do at MyPillow? What's their main goal? To make things real soft, plush, real comfy, comfy, or comfy as I say it. How perfect. So here's the link right now. Go to MyPillow.com slash Lionel. MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel or slash Lionel, or call 800-645-4965. 800-645-4965. And watch how fast our good friend Mike Lindell answers the phone. MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel, simply and absolutely the best. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we're going to be dealing through this and going through it with with such alacrity, such care is going to make your head spin. Let me remind you, let me remind you, and by the way, 400 likes, thank you immensely. Let me remind you, that we are going to figure all of this out and we're going to do everything in our power, everything, everything. We're going to do everything to get to the bottom of it. You understand what I'm saying? We're going to get to the bottom of everything. And what I say to you right now is not out of any uh, responsibility for being correct. Just do not jump to conclusions just because something seems interesting. But if there is any reason to jump to a conclusion, we're going to do it. Dear friends, thank you so very much. Thank you. I appreciate it immensely. uh, Edie Crowley joins it. Edie says, what happens when the U.S.'s underbelly becomes upper belly, or are we there yet? Ah, it's an excellent, like a bloated fish. Indeed, we will see. Thank you so much. And Dung is fun, thank you. And Exhorter, thank you. And don't forget to follow Mrs. L. Don't forget to follow Mrs. L at Lynn's Warriors. She's got so much to say, like you cannot believe. We'll be seeing you again tomorrow morning, my friends, at 8 a.m. And don't forget, until then, as we always say, the monkey's dead. The show's over. Sue you. Dead, dead.